<sighs> All right. I know it, it's been not even a, a, um, a full day, you know, and you're seeing my ugly mug again. All right. So for those of you who were not on the live stream last night, um, it is what it is. You guys couldn't make it. We're fine with it. Some of you guys, I know I was kind of late for y'all. Some of you guys, you know, it was too late, early morning, whatever. Some of you guys are like six hours, seven hours, whatever amount of hours you are ahead of me. And I get it. You know what I mean? Um, so shout out to all those who took the time to spend a couple of hours with us last night. Really appreciate y'all. Birthday, birthday stream was lit it was good i enjoyed answering the questions um enjoyed all the happy birthday wishes all of that good stuff um right so the main reason why i'm making this video is because you know actually i actually i took some time to actually think about this before i actually made this video because i didn't want to come on here and just be angry about the situ about what happened, right? So I took some time. It was earlier today. Today is Saturday. It was earlier today that the message came through. I actually woke up to this message. I left the house to go get some groceries and stuff for the house, right? Get some groceries and stuff for the house and. I saw this message on my phone when I woke up. I went to bed pretty late. And this particular person is a subscriber on the channel. They were present in the live stream last night. Um, the live stream is not live on the channel because I'm not going to post that live stream. Not because of this particular instance. I did say it on the live stream last night that this this stream is not going to be it's not going to be posted, so you can't replay to see what happened or whatever the situation is. I usually don't post my live streams, right? Maybe later on down in the future, that's something that I will do. But for now, no, I don't think I need to be doing that, right? So I am not going to be putting the messages up on the screen. Um, I'm not going to do that because I don't want you guys to harass this person in any way. Because I, I, I know that I didn't do anything wrong. And I know the people who have, was on the live stream last you're probably not going to remember who exactly made this, co this comment or asked this question. So this is pertaining to last night when, when we were doing the live stream. Well, it was night for me. Right. And a particular person ask, would I do an OnlyFans? Right. And if you guys remember, my answer to that question is it was this. No, I would never consider doing OnlyFans. Right. And I said it with a serious face and I and, and I joked at the end of it. But. Um. You know, I did say, you know what I'm saying? Like my, my, you know, this, this y'all don't want to see this. This is for, you know, my girl eyes only. Right. And I said that in a joking way, but I'm, I'm serious. You get what I'm saying? So what I said was because I'm repeating my answer. So for those who are watching this, that wasn't on the live stream. So you can understand. Right. So basically what I said was that basically all only fans is is a site for independent porn. Am I lying? No. I, I, I answered the question in a serious manner because we didn't go in depth to talk about it, but I answered it in a serious manner. It is a website now for independent porn because most of the time porn stars have to sign with studios to do videos for them, right? So in this manner, they get a bigger cut of the money right? 
they get a bigger cut of the money so it's compare it to the music industry where if you sign with a label you don't get as big as a as big a cut as if you're independent making your music out there and people get recognition independent artists kind of get everything up front they have to pay everything up front you know to create their albums and their songs but today the platforms that are here and the things that people use to make music it's not that hard to create music without a huge studio backing you get what i'm saying it's not it's not super hard to do it all depends on if you as the artist sucks or not right so to to really create that um kind of success so in with only fans it's kind of like the same thing yes only fans do take a cut they do take a cut but it's not a bigger cut as any porn star would lose in the in in in, in the porn industry right signing with a particular studio and you guys know the studios let's not let's not let's not play here this is going to be probably a very long video so strap in strap in because i have to address this on the channel because i do not want this to happen ever again right so what i said about it was basically that it's a site for independent porn right let's be honest men on only fans don't get the type of support that women's on OnlyFans get. And I went as far to say, because I stated that because that is a fact. Men visit porn sites more than women do. Am I wrong about that? That, that is not even something you have to go look up statistics for. That's, that, that's just common. It's common knowledge. You get what I'm saying? That's not something anybody needs to go look up statistics for. You should know this. You get what I'm saying? You don't need to get the, 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 the numbers to know that this is true. Nobody needs to research this to know that is true. Men visit porn sites to watch porn more. Men on a whole watch porn more than women do. You know what I'm saying? The majority speaks for itself. Right? So, I went as far to say that I would not be okay knowing that another guy and i said no offense to gay people no offense to gay people you know what i'm saying if you're a guy if you're a man let me say that if you are a man and you go on porn sites to look at gay porn that's your prerogative that's what you want to do you want to look at dudes you know playing with themselves and stuff like that's fine that's what you're into you get what I'm saying? That's what you're into. I don't have nothing against that. But for me to put myself out there on an OnlyFans doing whatever, and you're there as a man, you know what I'm saying? I, I post some 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 naked pics or whatever on, on OnlyFans. I couldn't do it. I couldn't go forward with it because I know that the majority of people that are going to be visiting my page is going to be guys. Women don't watch porn like that. They do, don't get me wrong, but they are vastly outnumbered by the amount of guys that visit porn sites to look to 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 look at porn. Or to look at you, you get what I'm trying to say? Or they're watching the same porn that men that that um that that men are watching. That the majority of men are watching, which is, you 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 know what I'm saying? You 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 um whether it be straight or gay women, right? I'm just being real. You get what I'm saying? I'm just being as real as I can to explain to explain this. I am going into detail. I didn't go that far because I didn't think I needed to go that far because I was just stating facts. You get what I'm saying? I didn't need I need to know. I didn't know that I needed to go this far for somebody to understand where I was coming from and not take offense. So I'm going this far. You get what I'm saying? So I'm not even I, I haven't even gotten to the discord part of this yet. Right. This is just what happened last night. So I'm setting the context. I'm setting the table. Don't worry. I'm gonna let you eat. Right. 
So basically I said that and I was like, I would feel uncomfortable. It would mess with my psyche. No offense to, you know, a gay dude or a gay man. Right. But I wouldn't feel comfortable knowing that a man is out there masturbating to my face or my body. I wouldn't feel uncomfortable. That's all me. That's how I feel. How else can I explain something like this? I don't know. I don't think I can explain it any other way. So that's what went down on the live stream, right? That's what I said. I didn't think I said anything wrong. I was just explaining how I felt about the situation. And you guys already know on this channel that I'm as real as they come. Okay. I am not going to hide my stance on stuff because this is my platform. It's my channel. I'm not going to hide my stance because I don't want to offend people. If you're offended by how, you, you know what I'm saying? A stance that I take on something and something that I've, that I explain about how I feel about a particular situation or, or you know what I'm saying? Or whatever. That's on you. If you take offense. Okay. So. Let's get to the Discord part of this because that's where everything just went to a whole new place. So there are particular people that message me on Discord. We have great discussions, right? There are people that are that has been with me since you know what I'm saying, since I opened up the Discord, they've been, you know, DMing me. We talk. We talk about shows coming up on the channel. They suggested shows and stuff like that. As I've always told you guys, if you want to stay in touch with me on like beyond YouTube level, that's where you can get me to really have a, a genuine, you know what I'm saying? Genuine, straight, one-on-one -on -one conversation. It's the best place. It's not going to happen in the YouTube comment section. It's just, it's just not going to happen, right? Okay, so I woke up to the message, and I'm going I'm, I'm to read the message to you guys verbatim because I don't want to mess this up, right? I don't want to mess this up, okay? So this is somebody that I've been talking to, trying to help, trying to schedule time out of my busy life, right, to help this person about, you know, things that they've been going through. I'm not going to discuss that stuff, right? Um, nothing in detail because I don't know nothing in detail. It's just more of like... They told me something I wanted to, to, to help to, you know, cause most of the time when people are going through stuff like that, they want, they just want someone to talk to. So I offered my time, which time is a very important thing to me. So I offered my time to this person, right? So we haven't gotten a chance to really sit down and talk, right? Or, you know, had that conversation. So as you can see, this message came to the, this message came through last night before, um, before I, it seems like it came in after I finished the stream and stuff like that. Cause we finished somewhere around 11. So right after the stream, this message came in, but I didn't see the message because I didn't check my discord last night before I went to do what I was doing after the live stream. Right. So I didn't see it until this morning. So I saw the message and I was, so the message came in at like 11, 16 PM my time last night. Right. So the person says, you really put me in the spot and hurt my feelings. I thought we were closer than that. I tried addressing it, but you skimmed over it. Now, my response is this. I'm just going through the messages right now. I'll tell you guys how I feel about this entire thing in one swoop, right? So my response was, what exactly happened here? Did I miss your comment or something? Please explain, right? Person response. I made a comment along with a lot of comments. I was the one with the best questions after all. Okay. I'm not even going to comment on all, on all of this stuff that this person is claiming as if I was counting the questions that people were, were asking or something, right? Or, you know, so there you go ask the best questions, right? Um, I'm not going to repeat the part where they told me what they, um, so, 
So it said, I ask a funny rhetorical question and you answered and you assume gender because of it and joked. I asked another question. You, I asked another question. You addressing it and you skipped over it as to not talk about it on the live stream. Right? We're, we're going to keep going because I'm going to address it all. Don't worry. I'm just getting through because I don't want to mess with the flow. So I responded, I didn't see another comment from you. I'm sorry if I missed it. Didn't mean to. But what was the comment? Right? Person responds, I asked about eight questions. How can you forget what I asked? I asked the most questions. Right? How you met your girl. Favorite book series. Favorite sitcoms. Loads of questions. My final questions after those eight was, would you make an OnlyFans account? That's when you put me on the spot. We're going to continue because I'm going to address it beat by beat. Okay. So I said, I responded, did I assume gender when I answered that question? Or I just stated what I wouldn't have that. I just stated why I wouldn't have an OnlyFans account. Person response, it's the same difference. By saying you don't want guys doing certain things with that kind of visual, you also said that no girls ask or are on OnlyFans and that guys only are and gay ones at that. I'm going to address it all. Don't worry. We get into it. How didn't that just basically make everyone assume who I was? Okay. So I responded, people ask male and female YouTubers and streamers that question all the time. And I just answered it honestly. Did someone say something towards, towards you in the chat? Or you just didn't like how I answered the question? Person replies, I didn't like how you answered the question. And I'm not talking about other YouTubers and other YouTubers didn't answer like you. They just joke and say yes. Most of the time. So in I just want to put this into context because I, I may, may have read it and you probably didn't understand what this person was saying here. Basically saying that when other people ask other YouTubers and streamers um, ab about if they would start an OnlyFans, they just joke about it and say, yes, they think about it all the time. I don't know what streamers this person is watching, but usually when streamers ask that question, yes, they do joke about it. But in the but in the end, you understand what I'm saying? In the end, if it's a girl, a girl would say, you know what I'm saying? They 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 have thought about it, but they not going against it. That's if they don't have an OnlyFans already, right? And most guys are going to joke about it and say, sure, but there's always a but when it comes on to male streamers when they address this point. There's always a but. There's always a but, or they just completely joke about doing it and don't even address it because this is exactly what they're afraid of. You know what I'm saying? So my answer to this was a very long one. I said, that's okay. You didn't like how I answered, but that was an honest answer from me. No jokes. If other streamers want to joke about it, fine. But I said what I said. And that's exactly how I feel about OnlyFans. It was not intended to hurt you or anyone else. In my statement, I address both sides of why I personally wouldn't do it. It's mostly girls that use it as a platform for independent pornography. And the few men that are on there are there for the same thing. But men visit porn sites more than women do. I know that men do visit to see other men on OnlyFans too. But the percentage is not even close when compared to the men that visit for the women. Right? I said no offense to gay men, but I could not stand the thought of another man getting off from watching me. It would affect me personally. I stated how I felt about it, and I am comfortable in how I stated it. Didn't mean to offend you in any way. Right? That was me. So here comes the response that I didn't respond back to because I was done at this point. I said what I said. Well, stupid me, 
This is how the person responds to me. Well, stupid me, as long as you didn't feel offended, right? Yeah, that seems to be the trend lately. People want apology. Left and right, but they themselves never apologize. Listen, first of all, I'm going to address this last one because this last one really got to me. You get what I'm saying? As in, it made me... It made me angry in such in, in such a way where I decided to make the video, but I didn't want to do it out of anger. I wanted to address this point, right? So, first of all, I never asked you for an apology. I don't expect anybody to apologize to me about anything in this situation. You get what I'm saying? And first of all, I don't demand apology from nobody because... Apologies are supposed to be sincere. You're supposed to know when you are to apologize to people. You're supposed to know. If you don't know, you're probably just a horrible person. Okay? So, I never demand apology from people. I never do. If anything, I'm the first one to recognize that I'm wrong and apologize to people. But in this instance, I am not wrong about anything. I'm not apologizing to anybody. Okay? So if you're listening to this now and you feel like I said something that was wrong, you ain't getting an apology. That's my opinion. I'm not going to apologize for saying how I, for answering a question that you asked. Are you serious? All right. So person said people want an apology left and right, but they themselves never apologize. And you didn't have to say gay. If you were being honest, just say no, because you would feel uncomfortable. You didn't have to signal out a population based on an opinion, and the no offense is not even a band-aid on the matter. So I insult anyone I want, but as long as I say no offense, I should get exonerated from, from any judgment, lol, again. That seems to happen a lot, but it's always one-sided, but it doesn't make what you said any better. Just try to be considerate of others next time you answer. You skipped over my apology, so you should have done the same with that question. If it made you uncomfortable, don't answer it at all. I really thought you were different. Shame. Okay, so that's the end of that. I never responded after that because I'm not going to. We're 22 minutes in. Right. I wish I, I, I what I should have done was make was put it was put the, the, the thing up on the screen. So you guys don't believe that I'm like I doctored it in any way or whatever the situation is and probably just block out the person there. But I ain't got time for that. OK. You just gonna have to take my word for it or whatever. I just read it off my damn phone. Listen, guys. Um. I, I, I th I, while I was shopping, doing my shopping and stuff, I, 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 I really looked at the messages. You know what I'm saying? I looked at the messages and I thought about it. I thought about it before I came back home and, you know, pack away my groceries. And I'm now I'm sitting up to do this video. And I thought about it. You know what I'm saying? I don't have anything to apologize for. Number one, I'm not apologizing to anyone about this situation. I said what I said. You want to feel how you feel? That's on you. Okay? You're telling me not to single out a population when I'm stating a fact. You can't expect somebody to state a fact and not talk about the variables. Don't talk about the var don't say nothing at all. You asked me a question. If I'm going to answer the question, I'm going to answer answer the question with logic. So you understand where I'm coming from. And, and then I'm going to address how I feel, which is exactly what I did. I use logic first. And then I tell you how I would personally feel being on OnlyFans. If you don't understand how that works, that's on you. That is not on me. And I'm not going to take that on to myself. Shame on me. Shame on me. Y'all got the wrong one. You have the wrong one. I don't know what gender you are. 
And I'm not going to assume that you're a man. I'm not going to assume that you're a woman. I'm not going to assume that you're any other the other spectrum stuff. I'm not going to assume any of that. So let's just, I'm just going to talk to you as a human being right now because I know for a fact you're going to watch this video. I know you're going to watch this video. So listen up. Listen up. Some people need to get off their, their soapbox, their high horse about a lot of this stuff. Let me tell you something. I am not afraid to talk about gay matters. I'm not afraid to call out gay people. I'm not afraid to call out straight people. I'm not, a, I'm not, listen, I'm not about to sit here and make nobody make me feel uncomfortable about how I feel about anything. You, if you ask my opinion on something, I'm going to give it to you. You get what I'm saying? If somebody else had asked the question about OnlyFans, they would have gotten the same answer. Think about others' feelings before, before I answer? When I didn't offend anyone? My intention was not to offend. I stated a fact, which is what I did first. That's the logic. And then I told you how I would personally feel if I started an OnlyFans account. I think it would affect my psyche is what I said. It would affect my psyche. I know myself. If you don't know yourself, how can you put, you're going to put yourself in a situation. You think if I was a super shy guy, if I was a super shy guy, you would see me sitting in front of cameras doing, doing reactions. Come on. Come on, man. You got to know yourself. You got to know yourself. People put themselves out. People put themselves out there. That's why you see so many people. Oh, there, there's people with millions of subscribers issuing apologies and stuff and, and stuff like that when they do when they do something wrong. And don't get me. And don't get me. Don't get me. Don't get me wrong. A lot of those apologies are warranted, and a lot of them are not sincere either. You get what I'm saying? A lot of them is not sincere either. See, when I, if I do something that's just wrong and out the box and just don't give a shit about my subscribers, y'all, the apology is not going to be, it's not going to be posted on YouTube. And if it is, if it is, if it is posted on YouTube, it's going to be real simple. I'm sorry. I did that shit. I'm out. We gonna move on. We gonna move on. At least I will. I know I will move on. You get what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, people, at the end of the day, let's be honest. We are trying to get to know each other as a community, right? You can't ask somebody a question and then mad get mad about the answer. When they're stating an opinion on how they feel about the question you asked. You get what I'm saying? I tried in, in my live stream every time. You can ask anybody that has been on my live stream multiple times. I don't do them often, but when I do, I try to answer every single question regardless of who it is. Regardless of who it is. You know what I mean? It ain't no special treatment around here, guys. Nobody gets special treatment on my channel. When it comes on to who can reach me and who can... You, you get what I'm trying to say? Not because we have a conversation on Discord. What, that makes you feel like you can come at me like this? First of all, I don't know you. I don't know you. We haven't had any conversation with, for me to say, yo, we, we are far beyond YouTube comments. You told me one little thing about yourself. And I have not even shared that with, with, with anyone. But this I had to because we were all on that live stream last night. Right? About 10, 12 people was on the live stream last night. Right? Right? So we're not going to have this conversation in private because everybody was there. They saw, they heard what I said. 
So we're not going to have this conversation in private about how you feel. As a matter of fact, you should have posted this shit on the channel. Don't hide now. Don't hide and come to me personally about, about something that you, that you asked and I answered on a live stream. No, I'm putting it out there for, for all my subscribers to see. I know all of them is not going to watch this. But I'm letting you guys know, man, I'm not about that. You guys have watched my reactions. You've heard me state multiple times. You've heard me state stuff that stances that I have. I've talked about abortion. I've talked about, um, uh, I've talked about, um, what else have I talked about? That's, you know, you, you know, kind of taboo to talk about on YouTube and stuff like that. I've talked about, you know what I'm saying? Gay people and, and, and stuff like that. Like I've talked about it. Like it's just, it's not my taste. It's not my thing. Do you, do you always do you, but you are never going to stop me. You're never going to stop me from having an opinion. And that's the thing about, that's the thing about the um, society today that I just don't understand. People state their opinion and people just, ooh, ooh. Oh, you're canceled because you have an opinion on something. You're canceled. You can't have an opinion that's that's against the status quo anymore. You can't. And that's a problem. And I'm never going to let people stop me from stating my opinion. Never, ever. Because one thing I know myself about, I am an extremely logical person when it comes on to, to critical thinking. Extremely logical. I state the facts, and then I will tell you how I feel about it. How I personally, how that very thing that we're talking about would affect me personally. Like, uh, from, an object, from an objective standpoint, and then you go to the subjective standpoint. You get what I'm saying? Look at both sides. You get what I'm saying? Look at both sides. Yes, we should we sh we we shouldn't say all cops are bad because a couple of them have, has killed black people because that's not logical to say. It's not it's just not a logical argument to have. Right? But if you ask me how all of this stuff is affecting me personally, I'm going to say okay, yes. I don't believe all cops are bad, which is the logical thing to say, right? But then I'm going to say to you, yes, it affects me personally in a different way than it might, you know, that it might affect other people because of how I act when I get pulled over. You're trying to tell me that I can't say that? Because the objective point of view is there, so I cannot say to you, that it affects me personally? Without you getting offended? Is that what is that the society that we live in today where people cannot say what they want? W what happened to freedom of speech? If you think that I'm going to come on this platform about something that I said. That's why a lot of times I take so much time during my reactions to clarify my points that I make on certain hot button topics because I know people are going to come talking about this and that and whatever. The, the um the other day a reaction a reaction came out where I was talk I was talking about um I don't remember, what was it again? I was saying that Rosita in The Walking Dead, you know what I'm saying? She she belongs to the streets. Look at her history. And then somebody in the comment section going to say that I'm policing women's vagina? Listen, man, I'm going to tell y'all, I'm going to tell y'all just like what um, Dave Chappelle say, man. 
if you're wearing the slut uniform, don't expect me to think that you're a good woman. Don't expect me to think that you're something other than what you are. Or what I see your behavior is. You understand what I'm trying to say, guys? You guys, people walk around thinking that this, this, this world, you know what I'm saying? This world is just so hunky-dory and you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying people shouldn't accept people for who they are because I do. But at the end of the day, if you're an addict, I'm going to call you an addict, my friend. If you are an addict, I'm going to call you an addict. What am I supposed to, what am I supposed to do? Because because it's because it's not going to make you feel good, I shouldn't say it, right? That's that's the the gist of this all. If it doesn't make you feel good about yourself, or about the situation, or about the question that you ask, I should just shut the hell up, right? That's the world we want to live in today, where people are n people can't have an opinion about anything because they get crucified if it's not the status quo, if it's not the common ground, if it's not the common denominator, if it's not what everybody should think. If you go against the grain, you get crucified, right? That's the society we live in now. Right? That I that I cannot state that I would feel uncomfortably for gay dude is jacking off to me. I cannot say that. Right? What kind of bullshit kind of world do you guys want to want to live in that's like that? Where I cannot state how I feel about a, situa about a situation. Where somebody can tell you, you shouldn't care if they're masturbating to you. You shouldn't care. Well, excuse me, who the hell are you to tell me how I should feel about that? Hmm? No. I don't pass, I don't pass over nothing. I don't skip over shit because I'm uncomfortable with it. Nah, bruh. I don't do that here. I don't do that here. Y'all don't, you, you, I've said what I said. I've said what I said. I ain't taking back shit. Y'all could feel however y'all want to feel about it. Y'all could think whatever y'all think about it. Y'all could come and say, oh, you're singling out gay people. You know what I'm saying? Women want to watch OnlyFans doing all this other stuff. Let me tell y'all something, man. If y'all stupid enough to think. If y'all stupid enough to think that women are out here watching porn as much as men do. Or, you know, somebody want to wanna make it talking about, oh, it, it's 50-50. It's not 50-50, my guy. It's not 50-50. Okay? Y'all keep staying. Y'all want to be in this bubble. So stay in that bubble. But I'm telling you, that's not how it works. Because I've seen the facts myself. Look up any dude. Look up any dude that is bit that is on OnlyFans and he's not. I'm not talking about a dude that's like, you know, like a couple's OnlyFans. I'm talking about like a dude that's by himself, you know, posing naked, abs out, all of this other stuff on OnlyFans. Who is his core audiences? And he'll tell you. He'll tell you. Male. It is male. It's dudes. Men. Might have a couple. Maybe two or three women in there. But his core audience is male. Gay men. Okay? And that is not me just saying some 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 shit. That's facts. Because I I, I have had this conversation with my with my brother. 
I've had this conversation with my brother when my bro when I was telling I, I was telling my brother how much money these girls are making on OnlyFans. We I've had this conversation, man. And I was looking it up while we were talking. Me and him both was looking it up on our phone because my brother lives in New York. And I'm talking to him. And we were looking up the facts and looking up the, the, the details, the statistics on this. Because he was saying, man, I should, because I was telling him the numbers and he's like, you know what I'm saying? He he was saying um, he, should, he, he should start an OnlyFans. But then I was like, man, I don't know about that because it's, it's mainly dudes going to be, you know, watching you and stuff. Men. Mostly men is going to be watching you and he's like, I, <laughs> I get what you're saying. He immediately backed off of that idea. Now, if you're a, if you're a guy that don't mind, or that's not going to bother you, fine, go start OnlyFans. Am I against people that's on OnlyFans? You know what I'm saying? No, I'm not. That's you. That's how you want to make money. Fine. But don't have a problem with people who have an opinion of what that is. Of what you're doing. You cannot. You can't. If somebody says, oh, you're, you're, you're selling yourself. Or, or they have an opinion. Oh, that's nasty. You shouldn't be doing that. That's their opinion because of the actions that they're seeing. People, I, I, I talked about this in my Sons of Anarchy reactions where I was talking about porn stars, how people are trying to make them so normal. They're not normal. <laughs> Their behavior is not normal, man. So let me be clear on that. I'm not saying that they're not human beings again. You get what I'm trying to say? It is not normal behavior for somebody to just come up and just want to have sex every day. It's an addiction. It's an addiction. And people want to make it seem like it's some it, it's it's normal thing now for, 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 for girls to be doing that. Do you want your daughter, man, mother or father? Do you want your daughter to come up or your son coming up? Doing porn? Do you want that? You see, people don't want to be real about this stuff. And that's the reason why, you know what I'm saying? Everything about life is just going to hell in a handbasket. Because people don't want to be real about anything. They don't want to be real about anything. They just want to just do whatever. You know what I'm saying? They just want to do whatever and then nobody should have nothing to say nobody should have anything to say about it you get what i'm saying i don't just i don't just get up and offer my opinion on stuff i don't just do that i talk about stuff because i want you guys to understand how i feel about this stuff mind you if after i state what i state you don't want to watch my content anymore by all means, you can go. You still have that choice. You think I'm going to beg you to stay? Do you think Terabyte is going to beg you to stay? Because it's not going to happen. By all means, take yourself and go somewhere where somebody's going to agree with you 100% of the time. Because it's not Terabyte. This brother here is always going to try to reach out and help people. But you're not you're not going to you're not going to change me. You're not going to change me and who I am because I'm 35. I'm set. I'm set. I'm stuck in my ways right now because I think I think my ways right now, I think it's good. I think it's good. You might have a different opinion, but that's how I feel about myself. Are you going to try to change that too? To tell me, oh, you're a terrible person. Listen, I ain't that dude. I ain't that guy. 
I don't get intimidated by people's opinion of me. I don't. That's how you feel? That's how you feel. Simple. If that's how you feel, that's how you feel. I am the last person on earth who's going to try to tell you this is how you should feel about me. I'm not that guy. I respect everybody's opinion on this channel and I expect y'all to respect my my opinion just as much as I as I respect your opinion. That's all I can ask. I've been saying that saying that since day 1 on this channel. That's why I tell you guys this is an open community. You guys can come here, you can say whatever you want, however you feel about stuff and you'll still get a hearted comment. Plenty of you guys have said stuff I don't agree with, but I rebut. I heart your comment because I respect your I respect your opinion on things. Or you had something to say about something I say during a reaction, or whatever the situation is. I respect your opinion. We're not going to have the same opinion about everything. That's why you can say something off the off, you know what I'm saying? You can say something that I don't agree with and I can heart your comment, I can rebut and I can say, um, well, this is how I felt about it. You get what I'm saying? Because when I'm talking, when I'm talking, when I'm pausing my videos and I'm talking, I'm not talking out my ass, man. It's either I'm talking to you guys about, about how I feel about something or, um, something I'm relating to in the show or anime, whatever. Because that's how I feel about it. That's my opinion. If you don't agree with my opinion and you feel like you can't stick around the channel anymore to watch my reaction, you can't stand to see my ugly mug anymore, please go, man. Leave. Because I'm not going to change how I feel about things just because you say so or you feel some sort of way about something I said or a question that you asked. Come on, man. Why is it that, 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 oh, gay people are off limits and all this other stuff, all these political stuff is, is, is all off limits for us to talk about because people want to save, people want to save their skin when they know they have an opinion. And that's the reason why a lot of people on YouTube that's why they don't survive because they try to be, they try to be so nice and to put on this persona and this fake shit that they, this fake behavior, this, this, um, fallacy that they, that they put on. And then they have one little slip up on everybody and everybody is like, Oh, I didn't know he was like that. I didn't know she was like that. You get what I'm saying? And don't get me wrong. Some of these YouTubers or streamers, they do a gracious stuff. They do next to unforgivable things sometimes. You get what I'm saying? They do things. Do, do they deserve to be canceled for it? Or die for that matter? No. They do need to give us a, a, a sincere apology. You get what I'm saying? I believe they should do an, do an apology. You get what I'm saying? But as I said, most of the time it's not sincere. And how can you know it's sincere? You're not sitting there with the person. You don't know. They're just saying this to, to, to see if they can save their fan base. So there's always that, that imbalance that exists between them. There's always that imbalance that exists be be between YouTube and the sub and the subscribers because you, you you kind of try to play into that. I'm not doing that over here. I open up this platform, this channel. I open it up for you guys to come and state your opinion and whatever you feel like. No shade. All I ask is that you respect what comes out of my mouth. If I say something that 
I didn't explain right or it came out the wrong way and stuff like that. I am the first person that will apologize. But if I recollect and I realize I didn't say anything wrong, this nigga here ain't apologizing for shit. I need you guys to understand that. When I'm done talking, do what you will. If you guys still, after watching this video, don't understand what this channel represents and you feel like I was wrong in the way how I responded in the Discord chat or, or on YouTube to you or whatever the situation is, please feel free to leave. It's a simple unsubscribe or dislike, man. I've seen people that I've responded to, you know, they stay with the channel and stuff because they understand, they get it. They get it because when I when I respond to you, it's not, I'm not trying to argue out of anger. I'm just telling you how I feel about the situation. That's all I'm trying to do. We have, we have to be able as human beings to recognize patterns and call it out for what it is. You can't see a thief stealing and look at him and be like, oh, that's a, that's a great person, man. Even though you know they're stealing. Because you don't want to hurt that person's feelings. Are you serious? Bruh, I'm out. You guys can do what you will. I'm uploading this as is, no edits whatever i think i got my point across you guys don't have to watch the entire hour of this whatever listen i tried my best to explain how i felt about this situation it made me angry at first because i was in no way of no intention whatsoever um to offend anyone by what i said or whatever i was just stating the fact and then i told you how i felt about it oh how having an OnlyFans account would affect me personally. That's all I said. Anybody want to take offense to that? Hey, by all means, go ahead and do that. Because at the end of the day, I said what I said. And that's my opinion and I'm sticking by it. See you guys later, man. Peace.